Okay, Brian, thanks. But in the meantime, these frigid temperatures have officers and animal resource staff responded to calls of pets being left out in this cold weather. On Monday, in fact, Dayton police responded to a call of two dogs that appeared to be abandoned outside. When officers went to check, one of the dogs actually had to be put down. Two News reporter Eva Shell continues our team coverage of exactly what happened there and how to help pets stranded outdoors in this cold. It's been a busy last few days here at the Animal Resource Center of Montgomery County. They've taken a lot of phone calls and quite a bit of space taken up here at the ARC in the last few days. He, he moved to Columbus and the two dogs are abandoned. They have no water, no food. How long have they been out there? They've been there for a long time. It was here on Delaware Avenue just before 9 p.m. on Monday when an officer checked on two dogs. In the police report, the officer says the two dogs became aggressive and started climbing a four-foot gate. The officer then backed away and was charged by one of the dogs. The officer then fired 10 rounds at one dog, both darting back over the fence. The Animal Resource Center took over and brought the dogs back here to their facility. You will see an uptake in the number of calls going out to uh, check on dogs that are out in this weather. Bob Sexton, the field supervisor for the ARC, says the winter months mean more calls from concerned neighbors and more stray pickups. The ideal situation is bring the animal inside. Um, you know, they're a part of the family, they should be in with the family. Sexton understands that's not always possible. The, the shelters, if they're outside, uh, besides having the dry bedding, we recommend that they're elevated a little bit up off the ground so it's not sitting on the frozen ground. If you find a pet that has succumbed to the elements, make sure to give the ARC a call. We would come out and do an investigation uh, to see what uh, actually happened to the animal. And if there would be uh, the investigation should lead to criminal charges, they could be filed. They're also asking for donations with this cold weather. More blankets would be great. Also more food as these kennels continue to fill up. Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.